Right now, more than a dozen people are under arrest after dozens of marijuana raids. Law enforcement hit about 30 locations across the Front Range, and they think these are all part of one large illegal operation. CBS 4's Rick Salinger joins us from a warehouse on York Street raided this morning. And Rick, what have you learned about this operation? Well, this operation was so big, Alan, they have had to call out the Colorado National Guard to haul all these marijuana plants and pieces of grow equipment away. It's believed this operation was based in Texas. The people moved up here under Colorado's marijuana laws to buy houses and warehouses to grow pot and then ship it out of state where it's worth more money. One house that was visited this morning was on K Court in Arvada. Agents there in hazmat suits entered. Outside, a large pile of marijuana was placed on the lawn for neighbors to see for themselves what they might have suspected from the smell here. At another location on Wolf Street in Arvada, a woman was handcuffed and placed into custody. We understand some two dozen people have been indicted as part of this operation. Down in Centennial, a National Guard truck had to be brought in to haul away all the marijuana and grow equipment found there. More than 300 plants were counted at that location. It's believed the whole house was being used to grow pot. Some neighbors were stunned to see the extent of it. I can't believe this is happening in this neighborhood. I mean, it's just so out of character for the people that live here. And I'm a little shocked that there's still a market, honestly, to grow pot illegally. At one place, it was raided this morning at Monument. The person inside barricaded himself. They had to use tear gas to extract him. This operation was led by the North Metro Task Force, joined by the DEA and other law enforcement organizations. Live in North Denver, Rick Salinger, CBS 4 News. Rick, thanks a lot.